Classy here with another AADJ video. This is for the service menu white balance adjustment that I know quite a few of you have been looking forward to. So what you're seeing right here is the Spears and Munzel clipping pattern. And I have this up because when you adjust in the service menu, if you boost the values too high, you can clip colors. So the process for this is to go into the service menu and increase the one that needs to be increased the most um, by uh, whatever value you want to try until you start seeing some of the inner squares in this pattern disappear. So going from the factory white point to D65 or 6500K uh, color temperature, we need to bring the green up a lot and the red up a little bit. So right now I'm just going through and showing that it's all pretty much it's all default settings for custom picture mode with the exception of all the processing stuff turned off, all motion stuff turned off. So nothing's going to affect what we're seeing. So once you're in your service menu, you need to go down to panel PQ and you really need to make sure that you reset any of the values that you changed in the normal settings. So if you remember in the two point, if you saw my previous video, we had turned the blue down by seven and the red by three. Well, you have to reset that. What we're going to do is go the opposite way. Instead of turning things down, we're going to boost the green up high because you're not able to go any higher than what the max default value was. So it's kind of just like the opposite way of doing it. And in the process, you're going to gain a little bit of extra brightness in doing it. And also, this will not be tied to the you know, Expert 1 or Expert 2 color, temper um, color setting. It's going to be completely universal for all your inputs and all your modes. So everything is going to change to D65 when you do this. So just to check and see how far we can go, I started with 540 on the green and there was no clipping at 540. So next go back into the service menu and I went ahead and boosted really far this time just so that I, it would clip and I can show you what it looks like. So at 560, you can see that green, how you only see like one square within um, that block. So now I'm going to drop everything back down closer to what I think would work. So we tried 540. We know that does. Um, obviously, 560 doesn't. All right, so now trying out 542, and this is where it actually any higher than 542 on the green will clip at 542 it does not so now that we know 542 is the cutoff now you want to measure out your grayscale two point and we can see the green is obviously too high because we need to still adjust red and blue so I dropped the green one point just to make sure there's a little buffer and then now because of that I need to drop the blue a little bit and a little touch off the red so now we're pretty much there you can see the blue on the high end at 100 is just a little too high. At the low end, it's a little too low. So when doing gain, you're adjusting the high end, but it will have some minor impact on the low. And just like if you were to do bias, it would affect the low end, but there would be some minor effect to the high end as well. So now I have it measured out as good as it can be uh, using the gain settings only in the service menu. Nothing else has been touched and that's about as flat as it's going to get and we're just barely above 6500k so you can see the blue and the green is just a little tiny bit off on the low end but it's still very good just like this and making any other adjustments to bias or in the normal settings would just make it worse so leaving it like this this is the settings that I came up with 526 on the red, 541 on the green, and 510 on the blue. So the offsets are all untouched at 512. The reason we dropped the blue just under 512 is because we know we can't really go over 541 or 542 on the green. I wanted to have that one point buffer just to be safe. And now here is the measurements of it uh, at D65. Um, and you can see the colors are still off a little bit. You need a color calibration for that. But the gamma tracking is very good. And the errors for the white, darks, and grays and all that 
is very low. You know, 0 0.7 average, 1.3 max. There's just that little dip in that, was that 15 to 35 range, just a tiny bit of a dip right there. If you do the 20 point adjustments, then you could fix that. And so now I'm going to do the brightness measurements. All right, so before these adjustments, at a full screen window, we got 150. Now we get 158. And at a 75% window, we were getting 182. Now it goes up to 190. So then at 50%, we were getting 245. And now we get 255. So then at a 25% window, we previously got 390, now we get 397. And then on the 10% window, we previously got 700, now just over 740. And then in the 5% window, it was previously 790. And now we're going to get 830. 2% previously was 800, now it's 835. And then 1% was also 800 previously. Now it is 850, just over 850. So not only do we have a more accurate image and D65 white point, we also gained roughly 7% in brightness. So now in SDR, with peak luminance on high, we got 440 in a 10% window, 163 in a full screen and then with black frame insertion on and peak luminance on high we get 350 in SDR. Then with peak luminance on medium it drops to 265 and again this is with black frame insertion on 1 and then with peak luminance down to low you get 180 and then finally if you have peak luminance turned off it's just about 120 with clearness on 1. Alright and then to check in game mode in SDR, you get just about 400 nits with peak luminance on high and 260 with peak luminance on medium. All right, now for a little teaser for the next video, I also have some other settings in the service menu. If you want to keep the default Sony white point or look, if you like the way that white looks out of the box, uh, you can also gain even more brightness. As you can see with it set to continuously measure, it is consistently saying around 900 nits in a 1% window. And this is with the color temperature at 7000 K. So keep an eye out for the next video if you want to see how to do this, if you like that look. And it should be up probably tomorrow, but within the next couple days for sure. And game mode SDR got a healthy bump in brightness as well. So if this helps you out and you liked it, uh, just a reminder that the likes actually do help me out. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. Hopefully see you in the next one.